Uh, hi there. Uh, this is Shiva from the Nepal Bird Dog Partner. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for jumping on the show today. Hey, I'm looking forward to promoting the X120, mainly looking uh, at your own solutions for NDI switching. Besides vMix, what solution do we have currently? And can you explain? Soft. Can you explain? Okay, so I can't explain what switching options you have outside of vMix. BirdDog doesn't have a video switcher, okay? A video switcher is essentially, well, I should, okay, I should, I should hold my tongue a little bit there. BirdDog doesn't have a product that is a video switcher purpose. Like, that's the thing it does, okay? vMix is a video switcher. It does that thing, okay? And it does it pretty well. Many of you know that I have come from a long journey of being anti-vMix, and now I am a fan. And uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm allowed to, uh, to change my mind, but I'm also allowed to admit that I was wrong, and I definitely was. And so I run vMix now every show. That's what governs this whole thing and what's, you know, changing through all my cameras and all that stuff. So, uh, yes, vMix is a genuine video switcher. And uh, BirdDog doesn't have a video switcher, okay? We don't have a division that does that or software that does that as its sole purpose. Uh, some people confuse central control or central, sorry, central as a uh, video switcher. And that it is not. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. The, uh, the options that I think that you have, if you're looking for just quick and dirty, I need to do three cameras and I need to switch them to an NDI output and I want that NDI output to show on some flex outs, okay? The easiest way that you can do this is get a uh, Windows PC, 10 or 11, uh, Windows 10 or 11. Download the NDI tools, so ndi.tv slash tools. And let me do you one better so that you can follow along here. ndi.tv slash tools. And uh, there at the tools website, you download the toolkit. Inside the toolkit, there is a program. So install that. Inside there, there's a program called Router or Router, as, the, as some would say. And this program allows you to link as many cameras as you want and output them to uh, as many destinations as you want. So let you, if, I can, if I can, I'll show you briefly how this works. Um, so I have downloaded and installed... Whoops, wrong computer. I have downloaded and installed NDI Router. And ND... Where did you open here? Ah, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to open Router... I'm going to close this down, not, not show you that just yet. Okay, here we go. Uh, so NDI router looks like this, and you can pick your cameras that you want to use. Okay, so I, I let's, okay, this is a P200. Uh, I want to use the 110. So I want to configure this. I want to search for my cameras on the network, and I want to select the 110. All right, there's the 110. Hey. And then, uh, and then I want to use the PF120, which is what I lovingly refer to as Auburn Hills. And then uh, Brayton has a camera, but I'm going to change this camera to be the uh, 400 support camera, which is actually also looking out at Auburn Hills. Well, it needs to be color balanced. Uh, I've got an overhead camera, which is looking at my, my damaged day 300. Uh, and then Auburn Road, which is the, the PF120. And so instead of that one, I'm going to make this one the P4K, which is this guy. And I can call this like ma uh, main, you know, P4K. Okay, so what's going on here is I've got a bunch of these destinations, right? And I've got a bunch of sources. When I click through these sources, it changes this source and it outputs that source in destination one. So when I look inside Studio Monitor, Okay, I want to send that, you know, I need to send that to a flex out or something like that. So let me go over here and grab Studio Monitor real quick. Now I'm running this Studio Monitor in uh, low bandwidth, just FYI. So when I want to see this, I go to my machine and I say router destination one. And here I can cycle through the cameras and it acts as a video switcher. It's switching the video on the destination. That is what vMix does at a very like boiled down to the the tiniest of <laughs> the tiniest of things. 
that's what vmix is up to is it's switching cameras uh and outputting that to a uh, as now as now a source you have a source that is this uh, production so if i'm going to just do this for a church and i'm going to have four ndi cameras and i need to and i set them up in my shots that i want and then i just want to switch through them the beautiful thing here is that i don't I can, I can attach the router destination one to the decoder, so the screens or whatever I want to use, and or I can send this, for example, into ProPresenter. So if you're in the church realm or you're using uh, Easy Worship or whatever, ProPresenter 7 will accept NDI sources. I can send this in as a camera source to, to ProPresenter. And now my camera operator just needs to go, okay, I want to go to main camera 200. Okay, now we need to go to the overhead. Okay, now I'm going to go to the P4K. And I can I can call the show with this basic set of video switching options. Really cool idea because you can also make multiple destinations. And so let's say I want to have a secondary set of cameras. And I want to put this on the overhead to destination 2, but the main camera is P4K. Well, now vMix machine, so that's my computer. Okay, my computer is called vMix machine. And inside that group, I have router destination one and two. If I click on two, look, destination two is the overhead camera and destination one is the main P4K. And so you can, you, you can have multiple destinations and multiple sources. Now it's like, okay, cool. Well, I've got eight spots here. Well, what happens if I've got like a lot more spots than that? No problem. Click on the cog wheel and we're just going to add four more sources or add eight more sources, or 16 more sources, or whatever we want to do. You can add as many as you need, and it will switch between all of those. You can customize the name, okay? You can change the letter styling. You can change the text color to blue or whatever you want. You can change the background to white, all right? So then you know, hey, the one that has the white background, that's your main shot. And you can tell your volunteer, that's your main shot, okay? So let's close this. Okay, so this is your main shot. Why are you right-clicking? Oh, because I'm in configure. Okay, so this is your main shot. And then these are your other options. And you can organize this however you'd like. Uh, then you might say, well, I don't really need all that. It's like, cool. Well, then we can just remove all the ones we don't need. Uh, you have to have eight, I think. Yeah, you have to have eight. And you have to have four destinations. But you can have more than four destinations. And so for some reason, you need to have 16. Okay, you can have 16. Now, what I have noticed is when you remove sources, so check this out. I start adding destinations and sources. They count up five, six. But if I delete number five and then I add one, it doesn't put five back. It makes it seven. So the way to reset all of that is to go back to default and then, um, and then start over. So when you go all the way out, then you're and you you have to click on this cog wheel to configure this, but then you can oh look you can add presets, preset recall is what this is. So there's preset recall, so you can set up your cameras, save the presets right on Bird Dog cameras that's on board, and then you can preset recall stuff um, right here inside router. And this download is free, and so if you need this capability, this switching video switching capability uh, this one is free and you can get up and running with your cameras and ship that NDI source then to wherever you're going to send it so pro presenter you want to send it up to um, cloud you want to send it to uh, a flex out or a mini or a play or whatever you can you can route it this way uh, word of advice is don't cheap it out on the computer Okay, if you're going to go with a free option like this, have lots of horsepower and more horsepower. Like I'm running vMix and this and my CPU is peaking. So it's not that it's highly, um, it's not that it's consuming a ton of resources. I'm just doing a lot of stuff and that's really causing the issue. But router is a great option if you're looking for a way to do this for free because people are always looking to stay within budget. If you're going to spend a lot of money on cameras, Maybe you don't have a ton of money to buy a $700 switcher like vMix. So there you go. But uh, if you do have the money to buy vMix, I would also recommend trying that out.
because that's somewhat of a good option. So uh, hopefully that's somewhat helpful. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so with that I think I don't see any more comments from you. Um, NetHab, this is a great question. I think it's PTZ recall because it's the it's the same recall as Studio Monitor. 